Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 2nd of September 2022. In some previous videos, I was asking the question, has this platform relaxed their censorship at all, do you think? And I found out that they have, as far as talking about muzzles is concerned and a couple of other things, but you still can't say anything nasty about the thing that starts with V, and you still can't say anything nice about the other thing that starts with I, or I-V-E-R. And uh, I found that out personally because I got a message, that dreaded message uh, that you get through on your email from this platform from time to time, saying that one of your videos has been taken down and it's one that I made many, many months ago. Well, about a year and a half ago, actually. Um, and it is called, why aren't we using, you know, the thing that starts with I, but the full name of it. And yeah, that's been taken down. Although they haven't given me a strike for it uh, uh, this time. Uh, but yeah, the censorship is still alive and kicking, I see. And I think probably what I'll have to do is go through uh, all my old videos and anything with a contentious title like that, I'm just going to have to uh, just retitle it. Um, and then, because that's probably what drew their attention, just, y y you know, the title of it. So that's a little chore I'm gonna have to do. So I thought you'd be interested in hearing about that. Uh, kind of linking into this, I don't know if you saw that uh, Joe Rogan interview with uh, Zuckerberg, the obviously the Facebook guy, and I'm going to leave a video to it, and also another one where it's talking about the same interview, uh, but there's this American girl kind of doing a commentary on it as well, giving her opinions, which I thought was pretty good. So um, I'll leave a sort of link to both the actual video or at least an excerpt uh, to it. Um, it's not the whole interview, but just the juiciest bits. So uh, I'll leave that video and also the one with this girl as well. Uh, but basically, Zuckerberg was admitting to shadow banning. Uh, it's absolutely incredible. We obviously knew it was going on because, uh, well, it's obvious. Sometimes you get loads and loads of views and then other times it seems to slow down and uh, you're not getting nearly the same amount of views or uh, subscribers. But they've never actually admitted it uh, to it up till now. But here we have in this interview, Zuckerberg actually admitting to it. Absolutely incredible. So uh, have a look at those two, cu couple of videos. They're both only about 10 minutes long or something like that. And talking about shadow banning, um, as far as I'm concerned, the brakes on it seem to have been taken off a little bit. Uh, they might go back on after this uh, video that's been pulled, of course, but um, I noticed the last few videos I've done have got significantly more views than um, I sort of, I'm kind of used to getting in uh, sort of, you know, current times. Uh, normally, I'm happy if I get sort of a couple of thousand views, uh, maybe a bit more, but uh, uh, yeah, I've had a couple getting up to sort of 5,000 or so, and even one that got up to 8,000 uh, sort of a week or so ago. So um, the brakes seem to be off and the subscriber counts kind of ticking up nicely as well. So if you are a new subscriber, uh, welcome to the channel. And another video I'm going to recommend as well. Again, it's on YouTube. All these videos are on YouTube, so the links to them will be in the description box and the comment section below here. Uh, but I made a video a week or two ago about how there is hope for people who have had um, the V and, you know, if you're worried about it, you're worried about... Uh, 
get any uh, side effects or anything like that. Um, there is help out there and I kind of mentioned this in this video and I did get a few comments saying you know a bit rather negative saying oh no there's no you know there's nothing that can be uh, uh, done to help it you know once it's in you it's in you um, well this video um, I say second it's actually the third video I'm going to recommend it's actually uh, an interview I think the guy's called Jay the host uh, I'm pretty sure that's what his name is and he's interviewing this other guy and it's an interesting interview in its own right but what really uh, made me sit up and notice was literally right at the end or nearly at the end of the video um, this Jay guy uh, was saying that he's actually had two of them he said he's not going to have any more. Um, the first reason, because the Canadian government, he's Canadian, uh, basically broke the social contract. It, he went and got the first two um, in good faith, so honouring his side of what he thought was a genuine social contract. Uh, you know, take, take two of them and we'll sort of lift the lockdowns. And so he took two of them as did most other people in Canada, but they didn't lift the lockdowns or they brought in another lockdown. So he said on that basis alone, he, he wouldn't have any more. But then he said uh, he actually started suffering from uh, sort of problems here in the organ, in this sort of vicinity. Uh, and he said he had the thing um, probably the most common one that we're hearing about, the one that starts with M. And uh, he said he he was feeling poorly. Uh, he's normally a very fit guy, but he said he was feeling different. He was feeling poorly. And sure enough, he was diagnosed with this thing. And he said he kind of did a lot of stuff. He, he sort of got some doctors to help him out. He took some treatments, whatever they were. He kind of mentions what he did in the video. Uh, so he actually managed to get rid of this thing and to the point where he's now doing marathons again. I think he said he's done sort of two or three marathons uh, uh, since getting treated. So um, he he was saying that there is help out there uh he said he's quite he's pretty well off and what he got was expensive so sadly um you know it's not going to be for everybody if you haven't got that much money but uh but with a bit of luck maybe the costs will come down in you know somehow or you know people can get help from somewhere uh, financially to afford this thing but and that's by the by the point is I'm trying to make is that there is ways and means out there of getting yourself sorted out if you've been affected like this so um, you know and, and that's literally from the horse's mouth from someone who has had a couple of the things has had um, problems with this thing here in there and has managed to get it sorted out so that is 100% proof that there is things out there that can help so with that I'm going to leave it and I'll be back tomorrow Tim from Fair Play now thanks for watching